Hi, Rachel here from Day to Day Joys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I have February favorites and they might be coming a little late to you, but I apologize. I just didn't have time to get them done. Dirty dishes, peaceful wishes, blissful messes tangled up in joy. So I am going to share five of my favorite things like always and um, some of the things I could have had for a long time or some might be new but I wanted to show you some of the things that I've really been enjoying this month. So first is something that I shared in one of my Vlogmas videos during Christmas where we kind of did a um, day in the life every day during the month of December and it's actually this um, stainless steel mug and it has a little quote enjoy your free time so anyways it's stainless steel and it has a stirrer in it and you just push this button right here and when your coffee's in it you put your coffee and your cream and it makes it really frothy and delicious and put the lid on and enjoy your coffee and this mug so that was my little buy myself a gift type of um, thing. So I've been enjoying this more and more. I forgot I had it after, during Christmas time and I put it up in the cupboard and then I, I was like, my kids said, where's your mug, mom? So I got it out and I've been enjoying it this month. Okay, in last month's favorite, I talked about Trim Healthy Mama and it's just a um, way of eating that's a healthy way where you separate your fats and your carbs and um, you reduce a lot of grains and things like that. Be sure to check out that video if you want to see more about Trim Healthy Mama. Um, and one of the things that they have is Gentle Sweet. And so what this is is a mixture of non-calorie sweeteners that taste really good and um, it has xylitol, erythritol, and stevia. I'll show you the ingredients real quick. So this is one of my favorite things to use. You can use it in coffee, you can use it in baked goods. Um, we've been making a lot of coconut flour muffins and we use this, so it's really good. And if you are wanting to cut out sugar, this is a good option to have. The, the next thing is, that I don't have out here is actually my vacuum. I've went through lots of years of not having good vacuums and trying all different kinds and breaking and all that. Um, and so I have the Ororec, I think that's how you pronounce it, vacuum. And I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of like an old fashioned type of vacuum and it has a bag and everything because I've tried bagless and all that. Um, but I, it works really well. We have hardwood floors in our whole house and it works well. Um, and it works well from carpet to wood easily. You don't have to change and push any buttons or anything. And so I really recommend this vacuum. And another favorite is this, the Super Mom Myth Book. My sister-in-law actually gave this to me, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, um, right before I had a baby, right before I had Kobe and I'm just not much of a reader anyways, but I started reading it back then and then I put it down and then I got it back up recently and it's just really good. It has a lot of truths in it that, um, you know, we try to be the perfect moms and we compare ourselves to others and um, we feel like we don't measure up. So she goes over a few topics, anger, fear, comparison, busyness, housework, exhaustion, neglecting our husbands, and neglecting ourselves. And I really enjoyed it. I am going to read in a little excerpt to you guys to kind of see what it said. I can relate to this part where the author says, I confess having to having a little volume problem. Do you? I have come a long way, but there have been times when yelling and snapping was my default response in stressful situations. As moms, when we when circumstances collide with our tired, preoccupied, and controlling state of mind, 
Any shred of virtuous constraint remains within us and can easily blow up and spew out words. I call this verbal vomit. It's a deliberating disease. I suffered from it for years. Okay, and the last thing I want to share with you is a basket I recently purchased for our library books, which we put it on our fireplace. Um, and this is it. It's very big. Not too big, though. And um, this helps us keep up with our library books so I know where they are and we don't get lost. A little confession. Um, I'm, we are not the best, or I'm not the best, about returning library books, and I often do a, we'll call it a library donation um, every few months because we don't um, turn them in on time or whatever. So that's okay. I guess I'm supporting the local library. Um, so let's, let me show you. This book right here is a pretty big, huge book and it can fit in here and you know then a library book can fit right in so this is one of my favorite things I got this from Marshalls and I don't know how much it was less than ten dollars so um, I really like this well guys thank you so much for watching those are all my favorite things for the month of February I know this was kind of a shorter video um, but we have a lot of go going on in our life right now. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, and this guy, he's another one of my favorite things, huh? Yeah. You are my favorite little boy right now. Yeah.